Dear Sir or Madam, my name is Long Kang. I'm from Nanjing University of Science and Technology. Today, I'm going to present our paper about the design and the implementation of a two-limbed 3T1R haptic device. As you can see from this two figures, that uh, this hap hap haptic device has two limbs, and it can provide uh, three degree of freedom translations and one degree of freedom rotation. We use six actuators to control this haptic device. Capstan drive is used to reduce backlash and provide back drivability. Because of using redundant actuation, all of the parallel singularities were avoided, and the full passive gravity compensation can be achieved by using springs. Now we come to a workspace analysis. As you can see from the left figures, uh, this mechanism has quite large constant orientation workspace. The figures on the right side shows the motion force transmission performance comparison between the non-redundant and the redundant type of parallel mechanism. As you can see from the figure, when the rotation output of the mechanism increases, uh, the singularity exists. By using the redundant actuation, all of the singularity can be avoided. Now we come to the force and the torque producibility analyzer. From these two figures, you can find that uh, this mechanism can produce long-term continuous force feedback of 15 to 30 newtons in each direction. And uh, it can provide long-term continuous torque feedback of 1 to 1.4 newton meters. This is a prototype implementation. First, we will show the motion demonstration. As you can see from the video, this mechanism can provide three degree of freedom translations and one degree of freedom rotation. And there exists no parallel singularity inside the whole workspace. Now we come to show the performance of the passive gravity compensation. As you can see from the figures on the right side, by distributing the mass of the end effect to each limb. So uh, the gravity load of each limb can be balanced by using two springs. So in total, four extension springs are used for full gravity compensation. And uh, the gravity compensation is achieved inside the whole workspace. This is the hardware interface of this haptic system. We use six motors and six MaxPost controllers from Maxing Company to control this haptic system. And a Linux embedded Super PC2 is used for real time control. Besides, we developed a virtual slave simulator for demonstrate the whole performance of this haptic system. This is a virtual world test. We define a virtual sphere with a radius of 80 mm, and the spring contact model was used during the force feedback test. As you can see from the video, when we grip the end effect and try to make it move outside of the virtual sphere, we can feel the haptic feedback force. This is the result of the experiment. Firstly, for the virtual world test, you can see that the distance from the center of the end effect to the center of the virtual sphere is around 80 mm, which was the radius of the virtual sphere. It means that the haptic feedback works. And for the saturation test, we set the maximum actuation torque of each motor as 432 Nm. As you can see from the, the figure, during the force feedback test, the maximum output torque of the motor was minus 432 Nm. Thank you for your listening.